Hello beautiful people, welcome and welcome back to my channel. My name is Oduchi Mano. On this channel, I talk about cake business, I share tips on personal development, entrepreneurship, I do story times, tutorials, vlogs, I share recipes as well, and I do tutorials too, and you're welcome. If you've always been here, thank you so much for always, always being here. And if you are new to my channel, welcome to my channel. I'm happy to have you here, as you can see. <laughs> I'm delighted to have you here. Thank you so much for coming, stopping by. Please don't let it be your last. Today, we'll be talking about something that is very, very important. It's more like a basics, basics when it comes to like baking. So we're like going back to the basics, but it's very important because some of the faults that you have in your baking, some of the mistakes or the issues that you're having with your cakes are as a result of these things that you're doing or that you're not sticking to or these rules that you're not obeying. So what are these rules? There are so many golden rules of baking. Let me not say so many, but there are quite a number of golden rules or rules when it comes to baking that you need to stick to that you don't need to twist and turn that you don't need to disobey so what are these rules i'll be sharing some of them in this video now if there's something you're interested in please stick around i'll be right back you're welcome back so the first thing i'll be talking about is to measure accurately and to measure correctly i know this is something that sounds like a no-brainer yes we have recipes that work with difficult calls for two cups of flour yes we're going to use two cups of flour but do you know that there are people that just eyeball at their ingredients you might think that this doesn't happen but i know that there are people who feel oh I'll just look at it and if I look at this, I should be able to tell that this sugar, this quantity of sugar would serve for this quantity of flour and they just go ahead to eyeball their ingredients. Now that is wrong. You shouldn't do it. Also when it comes to measurements as well, please ensure that you're measuring correctly. I think somebody asked a question a few days ago about this and I'm going to do a separate video when it comes to, um, I'm going to do a separate video about this but let me just you know touch a little on it so when you're measuring measure right i put out a reels today that touched on this as well so don't scoop so for something like flour don't scoop it if you're scooping it it's not the same as measuring it the right way allowing fluffing it and taking the measurement if um, and, and measuring your fly beg your pardon so if you are scooping you are actually taking more more than you need you're taking more than you need and you're not actually taking one cup of flour even if you're taking one cup of flour so for something like flour don't scoop it there are right ways to measure your ingredients and i'll hopefully do my research and then combine with the knowledge that i have and make a video on this so please stick to accurate measurement measure accurately measure correctly don't eyeball ingredients don't measure the wrong way because you will get the wrong results you will find out that your cake is there so your cake is heavy it's because because of the wrong measurements or the inaccurate measurements, your recipe is no longer balanced and then you have false your baking, maybe too dense, too light or something uh, you know would happen to your cake. So please stick to using the right accurate recipes for or measurements for your cake. The second rule is this, stick to the recipe, like obey it, <laughs> obey it is like a rule, it's like it's like a book of instructions for you when it comes to baking. So stick to the recipe. If it says um, four large eggs or five medium eggs, stick to four large eggs or do five medium eggs. Don't do otherwise. Don't go with five eggs, five large eggs, or maybe something else. Just stick to the recipe. If it says your ingredient should be at room temperature, there is a reason why it's saying your, your ingredient should be at room temperature because Baking is a science. So it is saying, for example, like I read during my research, um, room, eggs that are at room temperature will give you better volume when it comes to baking than using cold eggs. Okay, so room temperature, temperature eggs, I take that again. Room temperature eggs will give you better volume when you're baking than um, cold eggs. Same applies to butter. There is an advantage and there is also a disadvantage. There's an advantage of using it at room temperature and then there's a disadvantage of using cold one. Now, recipes differ from baker to baker. So I've attended classes in the past. I've attended classes, you know, I love tr training myself. I love getting better. So I have learned from different bakers and there was a point where I was learning how to make SMBC. So one of the teachers I learned with, or one of my instructors, her recipe called for cold butter. So if you're using um, doing her using her recipe your butter should be cold like cold 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 it should not be melted if it's melted or if it's room temperature that recipe will not work while there's another breaker that I attended that class as well uh, for SMBC and the butter has to be sort of at room temperature so if you put your hand in the butter it should be soft enough for you to be able to poke through to be able to make a dent in that butter so and these recipes both work. 
right so if a recipe says do this just stick to it don't do your own don't go your own way um just please try and stick to the recipe so that you will get the outcome that you're supposed to have in your case in terms of baking so the third rule is this we are tempted to do it all the time i'm also tempted to do it sometimes but the thing is don't double recipes when you are baking so what i mean is this you are free to double your recipe right um, but some of us, it's when we are baking, we now want to double it as we're looking at it. So basically doubling off the top of your head. So for example, I want to probably double or half. So don't double or half your recipes. So for example, you have two, three quarter cup of flour for a particular recipe. And you have not taken time to write these things out. If you check my recipe book, I have where I have the recipes and then I have the doubled version. So if I want to double it, I already have it there. So I'm not calculating. I'm not trying to say, oh, um, two three quarter cups of flour if I want to make one and half of this recipe now What would be the half of two three quarter? <laughs> I don't even understand So it's that at that point you want to begin to do the math at that point at that point You want to begin to calculate first of all you're gonna make a mistake You are going to make a mistake So it's best for you not to double on the spot or not to double recipes or half recipes off the top of your head um, Please make time to do your calculations properly write them at the side of your book your recipe book your recipe notes so that when you're baking you know what you're looking at so if you're baking one you know you're baking one if you know you're baking one and a half you know you're baking one and a half if you know that you're baking two you already have them there and you just follow them you just stick with them so please don't double or half recipes on the spot you are most likely going to make a mistake and make a mess of your cakes and you do not want that to happen do you <laughs> i believe you don't so please um do you the right thing do your calculations before you start baking. The fourth rule is to concentrate. It's simple. Just concentrate. Um, try to put off every distraction. Try to put off every distraction. It's not when you're baking, you're watching your um, favorite TV show. It's not when you're baking, you're listening to the, to your, to the best songs. It works for different people in different ways anyway, but I would rather you concentrate or I would rather advise that you concentrate when you're baking, especially if you're counting. I can't, I've lost count of times when I when I um, feel that I've missed something in my baking. Maybe I was trying to measure five cups of flour and then I get to like three and then I'm asking myself, is this actually three or is it two? What I would just do to save myself any trouble or any um, fault or any mistake in the end, I would just turn everything out and start all over again. Okay, so avoid any kind of distractions, concentrate, don't block your ears, don't be distracted by anything, make sure everything is fine, ready for you, you're working in a quiet environment so that when you're counting, if you have to count or if you have to skill, you are doing the right thing and you're not making mistakes that would cost you your case in the end, alright? So please, please, please concentrate, put away all distractions. If you can manage both, anyway, that's fine. I wouldn't hold you back, but then best advice, best practice is to concentrate when you are measuring your ingredients. The fifth thing is don't substitute. Um, don't substitute in this way. Um, so that's the rule that you shouldn't just substitute ingredients. Don't feel that um, because this is this, it will work. Um, because baking soda and baking powder are both leavening agents then I can use I can just interchange I can just use if because I'm out of baking powder and I need it for this cake and I can't go to the store now or I can't go to the market now to buy it then I can use baking soda in place of baking powder look you're gonna you're gonna end up with a wrong you're gonna end up with a wrong cake a wrong result or a faulty cake now don't substitute that's what I mean by substituting it needlessly don't feel that don't do what your mind tells you to do your mind just feels just tells you that oh um instead of using probably instead of using um olive oil um try using coconut oil or something like that or instead of using um um, buttermilk i want to try i want to i want to instead of using buttermilk i want to use oil oh, i don't know some some folks just try to do or oh, i want to, instead of using buttermilk i want to use coconut milk you're going to end up with, a, with an oily cake. <laughs> You're going to end up with an oily cake. So please stick to the recipe. Still the same thing again. Don't substitute needle needlessly. Needlessly. Let me take that again. Do not substitute needlessly. All right. Make sure that you are doing things right, using the right ingredients, using quality ingredients. And one more thing I have to add is that you should always preheat your oven. I was baking one day. I was at work with my staff and 
I saw that like five minutes to bake me, I'd already put the butter into the pans and the oven was not on. I'm like, uh, what's happening? Is the, the oven is not on. Um, don't you preheat the oven anymore? Something I asked her something along those lines. I said um, sometimes she preheats, sometimes she doesn't. She just puts them in. I'm like, don't do that, please. That's not how it works. The rule is, don't even ask me what, why. Don't. don't I, I didn't tell her this anyway. So, but I'm like, don't do that anymore. The thing is, the right thing to do, what you should do is that you should always preheat your oven before you bake, okay? Preheat your oven before you bake. It's a rule. It's a rule. Just obey, <laughs> you know? So I had to correct that. So please, always preheat your oven before you bake your cakes. I believe that this value has video. I believe that this video has been of great value to you. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button. Smash, smash, smash the like button. And also let me know in the comment. Just say great. Just say fantastic. Just say helpful baking video. Whatever it is drop me a kind comment okay and if you get to subscribe to my channel please click on the subscribe button turn on notifications so that you'll be notified when i upload a new video and if you get to have i talked about subscribing yes you should subscribe and also i have classes coming up in april i don't know if i've mentioned this or you've heard it before i have affordable affordable classes coming up in april that covers baking and buttercream decoration so far so good these are the suggestions that i've had if you've there's any specific thing you want me to teach in this class is coming up in April. Please drop them in the comments and I'll be reading and attending to them. Thank you so much. If you also have questions, drop them in the comments as well. All right. Until I see you in the next video, stay happy, stay safe, and stay blessed.